What is the best planning system for real estate professionals? I have friends ask me all the time. And the truth is, just like with a CRM, the best system is the one that you actually use. So you can spend you know, hundreds of dollars or even thousands of dollars on planning systems. If you don't use them, then it's not gonna help you. Now, people don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. So you need to have a planning system. And tomorrow I'm gonna to talk about some time management tips. So make sure you check out that tip of the day tomorrow. But today, let me share with you what I do for planning. I basically have three tools that I use for my planning. The first one is a planner and I use the Best Self Journal which uh, I've been using now for uh, several years. It works for me. There are many, many other programs out there, but it's a quarterly journal that helps me get focused on my quarterly outcomes and that breaks it down monthly and then weekly and then daily. And I plan my days. I'm trying to plan my days the night before, but for some reason it works better for me in the morning. I get up at four, five o'clock in the morning and I do it then. So that is uh, one tool that I use for my scheduling and planning. And then I have just a moleskin regular journal that I use for planning, brainstorming, etc., etc. Now I did add another tool to the mix just recently and that is the Remarkable Electronic Journal. And um, I use that primarily for brainstorming out little projects and it's just easier for me to find stuff. But my general journaling, I, I, I like the feeling of pen on paper. I use a fountain pen. I've been using this pen here now for got decades. Um, I like my paper journal. And then the third thing that I use is Google Calendar. And uh, so for my calendar, I put everything on Google Calendar and I have it on my mobile phone. I have it on my computer. If you're an Outlook person, I used to be a Microsoft person. If you use Outlook, that's fine. Make sure that you have it on your phone and on your computer that you're synchronizing it. And, um, and I like to use Calendly so people can schedule phone calls, Zoom meetings, etc., with me on my calendar. And so what I do is I actually block out time. So I will block out time blocks. And I'll talk more about chunking tomorrow to you know, basically protect my calendar so somebody doesn't jump in and schedule a phone call with me. Now, project management, which is a step higher and probably not something that you as a real estate agent really need to do. But if you wanted to, let's say you're running a team and you want to have a process, a system for um, you know, your listing marketing, action steps that need to be taken. Uh, I use a tool called Asana. I've been using it for many, many uh, years. Before that, I used Microsoft Project, but that's really over the top. I think the three key planning tools I use are my Google Calendar on my phone and on my computer, my regular journal uh, for long form brainstorming, thinking things out and so forth. And then for my weekly and daily planning, I use my uh, best self planner. Hope you found this helpful. Whatever you do, make sure that you use something. You got to have a system. You want to do something on a regular basis and take control of your time. And again, that's what I'm going to talk about tomorrow is time management, a couple of tips and tricks. Hope you found this helpful. I'm Thomas Hyman with Realty Partners.